Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use pop, sales pop and social proof by card kit on Shopify. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll just click here add application. I'll wait until it loads. And here we go. So first thing I will click here install app and just wait until it's going to get installed. And here we go, start a free trial. So right now, uh, 30 seconds onboarding, enable pop and customize pop appearance, start onboarding, and here we go. Choose your pop types. You can choose between add to cart, cart summary, orders, you can disable or enable, recent visitors, you can really choose which one you actually want. Click next. Now, you can change this later, uh, what kind of template you want. I will go with the white one. And of course you can change it. I'll just clear this on the right, bottom right. And here we go. Hey Marek, pop up, this might be very useful to you. Let's take a tour. Okay, next. First thing you're going to see the add to cart. Next, cart summary. I mean, it's just going to like read all these things. So I'll just like skip this. And here we go. I'll cancel the chat on the bottom right. And what we can see here, this is really important. Now on the left side, it's a bigger menu. And then we're going to see the smaller menu, the sub menu. So first thing reports on the dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll be able to see your views, unique views, total clicks, total closes. Here you have access to your analytics. Then you're going to have also your metrics here, how it's performing. So if you're going to have like more pop types, uh, you're going to see those pop types right here. Top pop clips and pop stats per day. Then you can also switch if it's going to yesterday, this week, this month, this quarter. Pops, we're going to see the pop events here. And what we can do is just like simply come here and select. Let's wait until it's going to load. Then we're going to see the pop library where, where I'm going to show you how we can create those things. Pop rules. And these are the things like language, devices. So we don't want to have, we want to have disabled on like mobile, only have it on desktop. Then position. And mobile position and this is really important so timing how long to show pop how many seconds should we show the pops every time they appear on a page how long before showing the first pop time between pops and you can change the seconds here um i, I like like increasing it and not really bombarding the customer so if you're gonna have like a health product let's say and you know that a person is reading a lot on your web page you don't want to bombard him with pop-ups and then we're gonna see the pop-up themes here so uh, when you would come here you're gonna see the all themes and free themes and pro themes and you can really choose the theme which one you want and when we go further we're gonna see the pop library let's go into that so edit rules and design and now we're gonna see the add to cards content settings pop content top message first name it's city okay add to card product title time settings each pop has timestamp below that shows how long the action took place and anonymize first names, right? We can see right here, someone in Florida, Miami, United States, add a card, classic Kodak, Polaroid camera. Then we're gonna see the design here. So what I can do is to simply switch the design, something else. So that's something you can do that you can change the designs. Then you're gonna see the border radios here. Can change it to 
and you can also add background image then you're gonna see the uh, themes and you need to like you can switch between hoppa the black and the white one and then you go like gradient themes here look at this how pretty are there so then you're gonna see the pages you can display it on pages and you can switch between on which page you want to actually be shown so you can like let's say you would disable uh, this on a page which is going to be i don't know product page i don't know it's up to you so this is how add to cart works then we would have card summary card summary 50 visitors added five items to the card in the last day orders order summary recent visitor and you can again go add your rules and design pop content again you can change uh, the top message the, the bottom message then we can change the design here the theme if i want and i can exclude it from pages when we go further we can again see live visitors and then product reviews and product reviews are really great if you're gonna go like for the sp specified product that per people that person is watching it can be really useful to have let's say that i will be watching some nike shoes and the review would appear that oh my god someone from florida just reviewed it so you can um have it product reviews from judge me import reviews or add review then we're gonna have the setting settings here pop content then we're gonna see the design changing colors and everything themes and that's pretty much it so this is pretty much how the pop sales social proof works if you can have any questions guys ask me down in the comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance you know how it goes you know how it is and yeah thank you have a great day and goodbye see ya